so now we're gonna, we did our biceps. Those are trashed, I hope. Oh, no, they're trashed. <laughs> we're gonna go on to triceps. We're gonna go back through the same sequence again, ESPX2. So we're gonna go accentuating the eccentric portion in the first exercise. And what we're gonna do is a close grip bench press. We're gonna do it a special way. Uh, I call them Merlin close grip bench presses, being that my nickname's Merlin. Yeah. <laughs> and it's a way that takes more of the chest out of the movement, the chest and shoulders out of it, and brings more of the long head of the tricep, which is the biggest head of the tricep, the one that carries the most mass, brings more of that into it, isolates it a little bit more, because uh, we want to build that as much as possible. So it's a very, very strict movement, and uh, but it's no fun at all to do with these centrics, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, Sweet. <laughs> let's do a couple warm sets first before we get to the yeah. real ones. Sounds good. <laughs> Okay, so it's very important to watch the performance of this exercise and how it differs from regular close grip bench presses. As you can see, he's holding his palm and his hand and his wrist at an angle that forces his elbows out. This takes the chest primarily out of the movement, it takes a lot of the front delt out of the movement and forces most of the stimulation into the triceps, especially the long head of the triceps. Now his body's lined up, as you can see, the bar is coming down at about almost a chin level. It's like a guillotine. Kind almost of like a guillotine press, and that's because this allows the shoulders to rotate outward and the elbows to come outward in that proper angle so that you're really hitting the triceps and everything's in line with each other. But you have to experiment when you do this movement and see what feels good for you. The main thing is that position of those palms, and he's using all triceps here, and he's using those four to five second negatives because this is the eccentric portion of the workout. Now I'm gonna go spot him. Come on, yep. Gotta grow, gotta grow, come on. Perfect form. That's it. Yep. Yep. Hey. All you, come on. Come on, we're well, straight here. Right here, right here to the triceps. Yep. Up. Yep. yep. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go, you're a pro now. Let's go. Yep. Up. Hey, man. Come on. Way to work. Way to work. Up. Up, 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 up. Yep. All the way. Yep. Good. <laughs> okay, so for the second exercise for triceps, we're going to emphasize the stretch, and we're going to use a good stretch movement, which is going to be an overhead, seated overhead dumbbell extension. And one of the things that I want you to do on this movement, is since we're emphasizing the stretch, is if you can, is to actually bring your shoulders back as far as you can so your elbows come back even further back than just being vertical, which will help you put a bit of stretch on the tricep. We're going to hold the stretches for probably about four to five seconds, just like we've been doing on everything, uh, so we can't go as heavy. Very, very strict, and of course, since we all have our elbow problems, we're not gonna go crazy with weight. But you don't have to, because we really, really want to put a lot of tension on it. We're gonna lower the dumbbell slowly, for about three, three seconds or so. Again, we always wanna lower slowly into a stretch. We don't wanna just, just drop into a stretch. And again, this is gonna cause a lot of damage in the muscle tissue when you put the muscle under stretch, under tension, like this with dumbbell. So, we're gonna, here we go, let's have some fun. All right. Okay, so Tony, for this exercise, we're doing an overhead tricep extension. I chose this movement because it allows us to get a really good stretch at the bottom, which is gonna hold for about four seconds. Again, stretch under tension. Very, very important for igniting muscle growth. As you can see, he's coming way back. He's bringing his elbows back, his shoulders back, everything that he can to get that extra stretch before he carefully presses to the top. This movement, any overhead tricep movement where the elbows are up by the ears will affect mostly, it won't isolate, but it'll target the long head of the triceps. Again, the long head is the portion of the triceps that has the most mass. It gives you that sweep when you do a front double bicep shot under the arm. Great stretch, some muscling it to the top, there's no shoulders involved. Give him a quick spot. Tricep, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I got you. Nice. <laughs> okay, so we did our close grip bench presses with the elbows out. We did our overhead extensions, and now we're gonna do something I call Merlin <laughs> tricep push outs. It's gonna be sort of a combination of a push down and an extension, like their own one. So we're using wing climb bench. You'll see how we do it in a moment, but 
now we're going to the portion of the sets where we do we hold the peak contraction. So again, we're going to hold that for about four seconds. Control negative, set at the top. We're going to squeeze out in one second again. Squeeze hard. And again, when we hold the tension at the bottom, what I like to call hyper-contracted reps, a lot of people will just hold the weight at the bottom, but we're going to actually hold and squeeze. We're going to fight it as if we're flexing on stage, flexing a muscle against tension like that. So it's a really good movement for overall mass in the tricep. Like I said, it's a good combination of in between, like an extension and a push down. So it's, it's pretty good. Cool. On camera, let's go. Okay, so he's now doing, Tony's doing the uh, incline tricep push outs, as I like to call them. Sort of a combination between tricep extension and a tricep push down all in one to kind of get the effects of both movements. We're using this as our peak contraction exercise of the ESPX2 training system. So it's going to hold the peak contraction for about four seconds and again I call these hyper contracted reps because what we're doing is not only holding the bottom of the rep, he's actually squeezing as hard as he can He's flexing the muscle on his own along with the resistance of the weight. So it's a hyper contraction. His elbows are remaining right by his body. He's lowering it under control to his forehead and he's staying in that same position the whole time. It's a very, very difficult movement. It's a very big pump at the end. Oh, come on, here we go, here we go. Hold. Excellent. Gotcha. Okay, so again, we did our eccentric, we did our stretch, we did our peak contraction, and now again, we're going to go for the most massive pump we possibly can. We're going to do uh, an overhead single arm cable extension, and what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to actually have you do it with the elbow really up and close towards your face and close up. Put the full stretch on the tricep before you even begin the movement. We're going to stay in that position the whole time. Again, we're going to move like a piston, down and up, under control though. We're still feeling the muscle throughout the full range of motion. Send as much blood as we can to the muscle. Nutrients, hormones, oxygen, get it in there, start the recovery process. Get in there and do it. Yeah, yeah. Keep this up there. Just chop it out. Well, it's hard for me to actually say anything because I'm looking at his tricep right now and it looks absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but right now he's doing a one arm extension with the cable. We're using a little bit of an angle from the top. He's, he's a little higher than his shoulder where the cable begins. And having him bring his, wrap his arm around him so that his, his uh, elbow is almost in line with his nose. This puts a full stretch on the tricep and causes a very full range of motion. Now we're going for maximum pump here, so we're not really worrying too much about tempo. The tempo is just going to be up and down, piston pace, but he's under control the whole time. And again, the goal here, after all the damage we just did to the muscle fibers, is to send as much blood, oxygen, and hormones into the tissue as possible. So as you can see, his arm stays right here. It's not out here. It's here. It's tucked into his body. This puts a full stretch on the tricep all the way from insertion to origin. It makes the movement a lot harder than if he brought his elbow away from his body. There's a lot more tension on the tricep. Great way to finish a workout. Unilateral movements like this are great for triceps in case you have an imbalance from one side to the other. Well, 